Hi, welcome to Distinti's World video number 1A. This is the abridged version where we're going to debunk global warming in two minutes. This is the Scientific American February 2007 data which shows the methane, carbon dioxide and temperature in the atmosphere as going back 650,000 years. This is measured data so don't let them all talk to you about all kinds of theories and magnification theories and all this stuff. This is the measured data of the real system. Okay, This is the measured data of the real system. And I'm going to show you that this fails the causality rule if you say that carbon dioxide causes temperature. And what are the rules of causality? Well, suppose I had a flashlight pointed at a wall with a sensor that determined when the flashlight switch goes on and another sensor that detects when there's a spot of light on the wall. Well, if we call the cause turning the switch on and the effect the light appearing on the wall and the sensors are denoted by little eyeballs, then here when I show the switch going on at a very instantaneously short time afterwards the, the sensor, other sensor is going to see the light on the wall. And then when the switch goes off, at a very short time after that, this sensor is going to detect that the light is going off. And what we say here is because these look like they're coming together, but what's hap actually happening, if we blow this up, this guy is actually leading this guy by a very, very small amount. Okay, because this is all happening at the speed of light. So we say that the cause leads the effect. The cause leads means it comes earlier in time than the effect. And likewise, when the switch goes off, it goes off earlier than the effect. So the cause going off leads the effect coming down. Okay, the effect can never lead the cause. In other words, you cannot have a condition where the sensor detects a light on the wall before the switch is turned on. This is a violation of the laws of physics. And likewise, you can't see the light go away before the switch is turned off, unless of course there's a malfunction, but we're not talking about malfunctions here. Okay, and now there's another case. Suppose I put glow-in-the-dark wallpaper on the wall. Well, as you switch the switch off, there's going to be a latency or a, sl a slow decay effect as the sensor detects the light fade away as the glow-in-the-dark material gives up its light. And this is still okay in the rules of causality because the cause still leads the effect. Okay, so the cause has to come before the effect. Let's come back to these um, diagrams here. Now you can see here, this is happening at almost the same time, so you can't tell really which came first, right? But here we have the temperature dropping as the carbon dioxide slowly bleeds off. So this cannot be the cause of this. This has to be the cause of this. Same thing here. We have this effect here which seems to cause a little burp in the carbon dioxide. But because there's something else happened, the carbon dioxide had a false start before it finally rose. But that's okay as long as the cause leads the effect. And then the cause drops off and then the effect slowly drops off. Okay, again the cause and the effect. The cause falls first, the effect slowly falls off later. I'm sorry, but this cannot possibly be the cause and this the effect. This is the cause and that's the effect. Okay, otherwise we're violating the laws of physics as laid down by the rules of cause and effect. But here's a, another thing. This little period here is where mankind came on the, on the, on the scene and mankind at the rate the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere right now is 400 parts per million, which is up somewhere around here. This means the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is higher than it's ever been in the measured history going back 650,000 years. Well, then you would expect the temperature. If the carbon dioxide is the cause, the temperature should be higher than it's ever been in 650,000 years. It's not. The temperature has still been in this stable little range here even till the present. Okay, so I've shown you two things. I showed you causality and this blatant contradiction here. Okay, and what, what we have to do here is apply some reciprocal thinking. Okay, this is the, the temperature climate data going back how violent it is. 
Okay, instead of asking what's causing climate instability to occur now, we should be asking what caused the global climate to be uncharacteristically stable for the past 20,000 years. It's not what are we doing, it's what are we not doing. That's the question. And if you're for more information, for more detailed, excruciating details, you can go to video D001 uh, for more details. Thank you very much.